Good evening, this is day 6 or 7 or something and um, today's video I'm not out and about or anything like that I've just got one video that I made through the day which was of me modifying my glow sticks like I was supposed to have done a couple of days ago so um, if you're not interested in basically that and then a little bit of general chatter afterwards about what I've done in the rest of the day which is very little um, you may as well not bother um, Although I do kind of waffle on in a kind of a stupid, insane way during my um, manufacturing process, and it's quite fascinating to see how I can turn a general everyday per purchase, you know, two different items that you buy every day, if you buy things like that every day, and into a really nice item with very, very little problem, really. Um, although I do screw up pretty badly in the middle of it, which is kind of worth a laugh, just if. It's just watching that bit, just watch me sort of just screw up in the middle. But yeah, um, have a check up and see what you think about this little bit. Um, and I'll fill in the rest of the day's information at the end of it. Good morning. Right, okay, as promised, finally, today is going to be an educational video. Remember my glow sticks of, of kind of pooness? They just about see they glow. Well, it's about time that I actually made my decent ones. Um, I've already done one. There you go. One modified glow stick. Crap one. Crap one is on. See? Crap one. Uh, I won't bother holding this one to my face. It's on. It's on. It's nice and bright. Okay, cool. Well, after a couple of false starts, which is why I'm doing the second one as the educational one, because I have, you know, got to look, well, got to look like a professional in this. And of course the first lesson of being professional is don't tell people you've always done it first. Oh well, screw that one up. Right, okay, what you do is you get your glow stick, um, you unscrew it, so you've got that bit which is the bit you want to keep, and what you want to do is, as well as keeping that bit, is from the body of it here, you want to keep the top bit of the body. Throw the rest away. Okay, um, to dismantle it, you unscrew this, and you just, oh, there you go, everything else falls out, hey, one empty body. Turns out this thing's just four little hearing aid batteries and a springy bit of plastic which contacts them together, that's it, how simple can you get? No real moving parts at all. Right, you get your fantastic saw that you bought, if you're sensible like me anyway. <laughs> sensible like me. Two words that don't go together. Three words that don't go together. And what you do is you decide to saw it off just about there. And then you make lots of punching baboons and face noises. <laughs> and you get to that a little bit later on where you go, <laughs> where you feel like you're dad. So, Eddie is our fan. Um, so what you do is you saw. Carry on the sawing. And you carry on sawing when you get a grip again. And then you stop sawing because you remember that you're in a rented apartment and you don't want to damage the table. Because you have to pay for it. If it's my own table, wouldn't go a monkey's saw into the bloody thing. Some things are more important than tables. Um, okay, so then you just basically line it up. Saw further out. Hey presto, a little bit falls on the floor somewhere. There it is. Right the way over the other side of the room. One sawn off bit of glow stick. One, some might say, wasted ten pounds. Not me. This is the best thing you can do to a glow stick which is Let's face it, crap. 
10 pounds doesn't get you a good glow stick. I could have bought one of the big chunky ones for about 25, 30 pound, which glow a bit more, but they take three, what is it, four, three I think, D cell batteries, which are pretty big. Okay, they'll last a while, but um, quite expensive. Let me get rid of all this plastic dust. So like the unprofessional I am, I'll disappear off screen again for a second. Still here though, you can still hear me. Right. There we go. Using a sharp knife. Trim the crap from the um, ends. Make it nice and neat because you've got to glue this end onto the torch. Make it nice and neat, he says, making a hash of it. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's alright. I'm going to do what I did with the last one as well, which is just bevel the inside slightly. By beveling the inside, it seems to give a better grip on the on the head of the torch. Because of course, at first I thought that what you're supposed to do is, and this is why I'm doing this video with the second one, I thought you were meant to slide this cap just over the top of the torch until it sits about there and everything will be hunky-dory. No. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to just glue it right onto the end. <laughs> it just sits there like that. But, um, because I thought, it just pushes on, it's just the right size to push on. It isn't. I can try again. It still doesn't work. So, no. Nope. You have to glue it right onto the end. And that's why the guy in the guy who did this first time, Japanese guy, don't know his name, but that's off to him if I was wearing one. It's a pretty good design. Um, he uses tape and glue. For me glue, I've bought myself some epoxy resin. Right, this is all gone hard now, from the first time. I don't think I can peel it off. No, it's not buddy moving. Right, so, simple job. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to screw this back together. That's how I know I've made a bit of a pig's ear of this end. <laughs> Not exactly flush. Go to my fan trim it. But no. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect because that's what the glue's for. The glue makes it nice and flat. Don't want any white bits in there. Okay. Time to time to mix it up with some big gluey flavours. With the epoxy posse. <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm talking about either. Stop having bubbles in your arm. Um, how am I supposed to judge how much I'm supposed to give if the tube's got bubbles in it? Right, where's my mixing thing? There it is. Mix the epoxy together, otherwise it'll never set. That's why it comes in two different tubes. If it came in one tube, already mixed, it would have be set before you already got it. And what would be the point of that? Buy yourself a solid piece of glue. Hmm, Pre-glued glue could be a good, could be a new market winner. Who you knows? If the world's full of stupid people, which of course it is. Right. Let's get some of this squidginess. Squidge it around the outside. With this thing. Don't put too much on one go. Or in one place, because um, if anything like last time, it'll run 
I'm not going to say last time, not last torture, I mean the torture that I made for myself. The clothes that I made for myself last year. It's my own design. Put too much on the inside and uh, it kind of ran into the lens area. So, didn't really light as well as it could have. Right. Now I adhere the torch to it. Now I sit here for 10 minutes while I try and make sure that it stays straight. Or as straight as I can get it. That's wonky already. The trouble is making sure that it's straight on all sides. Not that it really matters too much because, um, I mean, holding it in my hand, you can't really see where the body is in comparison to the rest of it anyway. But you saw the comparison video the other day of feeble light compared to good light. There you go. <laughs> and I don't even know how to edit it out. <laughs> Most people go, oh no, I've got glue on my t-shirt. Yeah, so I don't really listen to the crew shadows anymore anyway. I've got glue on my fingers. If I just stick my fingers there like that and hold them for 10 minutes, I won't be able to get them apart. So there you go, um, I've got my two low six finished. Right, um, been a long, long winded film so I'm going to wrap it up. Um, after I'd done that I went out for a meal with my friend Philip, um, who's living here, lucky sod. Um, went off up to the SK48 shop, down to the Hello Project shop and um, a book off in Shinjuku, sorry in, in Shibuya even. Um, I didn't buy anything, again, did very very well. Um, but I did collect a load of merchandise from him for my friend who's coming to stay with me in a week and my copy of the um, Smiley's photo book of him which wasn't signed sadly, I was hoping it would have been but it wasn't um, and then I came home and did this um, today I also did my first shopping, my first shopping, my first washing since getting here um, and completely forgot how to use the washing machine um, very very complicated washing machines over here um, I'll show you what they're like next time we do some washing that'd be an exciting video for you to watch, yay! Mark does washing, woo! exciting fun um, but yes, um, also saw um, a stonking great big cockroach that right, big, in your face it was well it wasn't in my face, it was walking around on the floor and a shopper was in um, I think it was shopping to be honest I don't know, he was probably looking for human spray you know, the way we look for bug spray. It was looking for human spray. Um, okay, yeah, it's at that point. My joke's getting that bad. I'm going to go away. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, the, tomorrow's, I have the Morning Musume and Hello Pro Egg concert to go and, not concert, musical to go and watch. And um, I'll fill you in on that. Might take my video camera, might not. Who knows? We shall see. It might just be another boring day of videos with nothing to watch. I'm going. Ta-ta. Have a good night.